Well, hello everyone. It's Rose, and today I'm bringing you along on the adventure as I put together the Trend File and Save System storage box for my diamond paintings. Let's just say it's a good thing I didn't go into the building trades. So I bought the Trend Storage Box. It's a file and save system. I got it at Staples. The link is down below. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. You buy the individual file folders uh, on their own, separately from the box at Staples. The file folders themselves, which I have demonstrated in other videos, uh, I'll, link, I'll link one up in the corner here. Uh, you buy individually, or I think you can buy them in sets of five or six or something like that. And they are large enough that you can put a 50 by 70 inch canvas in them. Well, you can actually put multiple because uh, they expand to be about a half inch. Um, so you can put many canvases in a single one. And then you just simply drop it into the box. So today you'll see me build the box and uh, fill it with three file folders full of diamond painting canvases, okay? So let's begin. So I've been using these folders for my diamond paintings. This happens to be some of my completed diamond paintings. And you can fit quite a few of them in here, okay? And, and they're quite handy. So it was a pain in the butt trying to find a place to put these. So I decided that I would buy the box to hang these folders in. So it comes in a couple of pieces. All right, and here is the label. And then on the back it tells you how to assemble it. And we're going to do that right now. Okay, so um, I have to, the only thing I have to do is just move a few things around here. So I'm going to pause you while I set myself up on the floor. So uh, I think you'll be able to see now what I'm planning to do. So the first thing we have to do is open this up. And then I'm going to flip it over because we have to lock. Let me just make sure you can see. Okay, we've got these two little bits here that have to fit together. thing I notice is that right here this tore. Uh, so this was not well glued as you can. I try not to fuss too much about small things like this. I don't actually care too much what this looks like. Somebody else would but I don't. So I'm going to use duct tape. Actually I'm not going to use duct tape. I'm going to use packing tape. Because packing tape will be even, uh, will make it look a little bit nicer. All right. So, I hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. want that to be pressed down. So, all right, so that should now, yeah, that is now pressed down against, well, somewhat. All right, so I'm going to be doing some more taping uh, because I want to make sure that this is as secure as possible. So I'm just going to keep if he doesn't like the, the sound of the uh, oops, of the tape gun 
Okay. see what I'm doing right yeah you can see what I'm doing okay good a while when I haven't used a tape gun for a while to get used to it again, but now I'm good with it. going to be able to see this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press I don't think you can see that maybe you can I'm going to press those two uh, flaps down against each other and I'm going to apply more tape to hold them down okay because what I want is to make sure that this is as sturdy as it possibly can be so um, I, I really don't think that this is going to show well on the video. Oops, okay, the tape is coming out crooked. I gotta fix that. Ah, okay. Don't need that. All right. nice and hard and, and I think I'm just going to apply the tape by hand your arms are not really long enough because I'm just a short little thing Pippi stop it Okay, you guys don't watch my channel because I do everything perfectly. You watch my channel because I think a lot of you watch my channel because I do it in a humorous way. Never intentionally, but what the heck. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not sure this is working as I wanted it to, but okay. Uh, all right, so let's try. So what I'm doing now is applying the tape across. So I'll just fold it down like this, stick it down, and then, um, I think I have more rolls of packing tape. I sure hope so because this is going to use up more packing tape than I anticipated. All right. I don't actually think this is all that necessary, but I want to exercise an abundance of caution in terms of having a box, in terms of having a box that isn't going to come apart. And I, I'm sorry, I'm talking into the box, which is not the best for sound quality for this video.
Now, if I had a significant other who was proficient in a workshop, I could have him or her, I suppose, build me a nice storage box, but it's just me here. So I have to make do with what I can do, which is fine because it's going to work. a few strips across again on this edge. And I might do some further reinforce I might do some further reinforcement after this video is done. But for now, I think this will be good. Oops. So now what I'm doing is just going up the side, the, the short sides with some tape. Again, I don't think this is necessary, but I want to exercise as much caution as I can because I want this to be a nice strong box for my diamond paintings. Okay. Now I got one piece of tape here that fly properly. Yeah. I'll just take over it. I think you can see this. I hope you can see this. show you. So I've taped the inside of this box. I'm going to turn the flash back. Okay, so hopefully you can see. I can't see because there's too much light from outside. But I've got the inside of this box, the bottom of the inside, all taped up so that that should be a nice, strong, sturdy, um, that, yeah, that should be nice and strong and sturdy. And lots of tape on the outside. And again, this is probably not necessary, but um, I'm just exercising an abundance of caution. And now what I'm going to do is put a couple of strips of tape. Whoops. All right. Okay. So once again, my tape got. Uh, fold it the wrong way. Okay. All right. There, let me get rid of that. Okay, so what can you see here? Okay, let me get on the other side. Uh, okay, you can't see the entire box, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side. And I'm just going to take all the way across. And then up the side there. And about eight inches down the side. And then all, okay. And then to where I run out of tape. Uh, let's So, 
have to get another roll of tape. That'll just be a minute. Okay, I've refilled my tape dispenser. And so now, I don't like to work that way. Um, so I'm gonna turn it all around. Okay. So let me finish where I left off. Now this is not Scotch brand tape that I'm using. So I think it's not quite as good a quality as the Scotch brand. But as I say, I'm not sure that I I'm not sure that I need to do any of this. I'm just doing it because diamond paintings are heavy. And if I'm gonna be moving this box around, I don't want it to tear. Um, because I didn't reinforce it. Okay, so now I've got the bottom of it all built. Uh, let's see, can you see? Yeah, you can, you can see the inside there. All right, now I have to build the top. So, here is the top. Not that I really need the top, but what the heck. And where are my instructions? Okay, so for building the top, right, I want you now to be back to my table. Okay, so well, it's like folded folding marking. So I fold tab one like this. So I fold tab one. Tab one and tab two. And tab one, tab one, and tab two. Okay, so I got that. Uh, now I fold tab four down. I'm just trying to see if I'm supposed to fold tab four down over tab one. No. Okay. So, there. I fold this again. take this as well. Again, you don't have to, but I'm going to do it from, you got it, an abundance of caution. problem on the other side is that I didn't fold both rows of perforations. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. All right. And here, yeah, I've got it. I just have to fold the second row of perforations so that I have more of a boxy edge. And then it'll fit into the slots here better. There we go. To do oh, this is crappy tape I'm using here. I didn't use the 3M. Oh well. Ah, uh, you live in work. Okay. This is really, really thin tape. It'll do the job. 
example here it's actually sticking to the tape dispenser so with this some more but I'm not going to now let's reorient you once again okay so we've got our box and now look at that I put that in it's fine um, getting another one now this one here has some longer diamond paintings in it so I'm gonna have to find alternate storage for my longer diamond paintings uh, because I don't necessarily want to fold them I'll just set that there I think this should fit So I have more, I have uh, I think two or three more. Yeah, after this one I've got about two more, uh, but I'm not going to, uh, to bother putting them in here because this will work for demonstration purposes. And you'll see after I put this in that there's still plenty of room here. Okay, so I still have enough room for, I think, my other two. And now I have a handy dandy uh, carrying system. Um, there is a place on the side here. Can you see the side? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see it now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can write you can write the contents of the box on here, but I just use labels, and uh, I'll just use um, like mailing labels to identify what's in there, and that's it. I take my box cover, and there we have it. I have a nice storage system for my diamond paintings now. Uh, like I say, the big, the long ones, this is like, this is a little bit longer than the box. It's about, I don't know, 10 or 12 centimeters longer than the box. So I'll find, I'll, I'll have to roll it. But I've been keeping 
uh, a lot of my box of my mailing boxes that I get my diamond paintings in and so uh, so I can I can store some of the long ones in uh, oh actually you know what for the long ones I had I bought uh, pants hangers on like clip pants hangers I'll go get them Okay, so for the longer ones, what uh, I'll do is I went out, I bought these, I can't remember if it was on Amazon or on eBay, but I bought three sets of, I believe it's five, one, two, three, four, yeah, three sets of five pants hangers that, um, that I can use to hang my diamond paintings. So that was back when I thought I'd be hanging all of my diamond paintings. Now, uh, I've only used one of these so far, and it's uh, for diamond paintings that I'm hanging uh, just temporarily while I'm waiting to frame them, to keep them out of the cat's way and so forth. But I'll be able to hang a bunch of different diamond paintings on a single pants hanger. Uh, because uh, these these clips are quite strong the springs in them are quite strong and they have this rubberized coating on the end of the metal so I thought they were a really good buy and that they would be uh, they would not damage my canvases um, I would not want to put the I would not want to put the clips on on the diamond painting itself on the drilled area uh, just because I'd be worried that the pressure of the clips would move the diamonds around a little bit. But, you know, I can hang a bunch of different diamond paintings on here. And I've got uh, spare room in the closet since I've cleaned out my closet in the guest room. Uh, well, so I've started playing it out. But anyway, so yeah, I'll be able to hang these. And then I've got my more regular size diamond paintings in here. Let me get, give you the dimensions of that box so that you know how big your diamond paintings can be that you want to store in there. So what we want to do is take a look at the folders. And the folders are 78 centimeters long. So you could easily, easily, and let me just drop this down. Okay, so it's just touching the bottom of the box. Uh, 56 centimeters. So uh, you can put up to a 50 by 70 diamond painting in the folders and they will fit nicely inside of the storage box. So uh, you'll have easy access to your diamond paintings. Uh, you can keep the dust off them with the lovely cover. To get at them, it's as simple as lifting out the large file folder that you want access to and choosing your diamond painting. So there you go, everybody. Uh, that is the Trend System File Box. And uh, and um, I think I think this is something that some of you might be interested in. As you see, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Let's just see the width of this. Uh, it is seven and a half inches from one from the outside edge of the box to the outside edge. And in terms of length. It is 31 and a quarter inches from the outside edge of the cardboard to the other outside edge of the cardboard. So that is the trend chart storage system that I use for my diamond paintings. And now I'm just gonna haul it away to where I'm gonna keep it. Thanks everybody.